President Trump taking a strong stand on immigration today, promising to deport millions of undocumented immigrants. But if that happens, what would it mean for families in Houston? Our Taisha Walker has been talking with experts and is joining us with the potential impact. Taisha. Lauren, members of Houston's undocumented community say of all of the president's tweets, this one worries them the most. They say everyone should care what happens to them because without them here, they say dominoes will fall. Those children, ages 3 through 11, know about toys and immigration. My children know what's going on, and it's always a concern for them. Maria's undocumented and fearful, so we're not showing her face. Not only am I undocumented, so is my mother. So if something were to happen to me and something were to happen to her, I really would have no one to rely on with my kids. The mother of five left Mexico at age three. The United States has been home for 27 years. She says her last hope for citizenship was DACA, which she was denied. In a tweet Monday, President Trump says ICE would begin removing millions of, quote, illegal aliens found in the United States. That's especially worrying for people here in the Houston metro area. A half million undocumented immigrants live in Metro Houston, most in Harris County. Sessa Espinoza would feel an immigration rights organization says his office has received numerous calls from families worried about ICE knocking on their doors or picking them up on the street. Instead of just us turning our community into panic, we're going to use this as a learning opportunity for our community to know their rights, to know that even as undocumented immigrants, they have rights. We know not to answer our door. And all it'll take is a couple of raids here in Houston by ICE or Homeland Security, and those people will essentially go to ground, and that will have a negative impact not only on them and their families, but on anybody who depends on them for services. Field says they are working with the undocumented community to let them know of their rights if they are ever detained or questioned by ICE officials, including their right to remain silent and the right to not sign any documentation without a lawyer present. We have more on our website at clicktohouston.com. We're live in Southwest Houston. Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.